All right, it's recording. Cool. Whenever you're ready. Connor, Maidenhead this weekend, but first of all, let's just touch on that Easter Monday victory against Oxford. A great win for us. Yeah, massive win. Um, always potential banana skins. Um, obviously, everyone from the outside looking in looks at it and thinks it's a guaranteed victory, but it's never the case. They picked up a brilliant result on the Friday against Wheelstone, even though they're relegating. I think that will probably help them in their in their running, just in terms of there's no no fear, nothing nothing hanging over them. They're playing with freedom now. They're, they're playing for contracts elsewhere, playing for contracts there. There's, so there's always going to be that fight in them. And I thought they come and apply themselves, made it tough for us, and thankfully we managed to get a good goal before half time and take the game away from them late in the second half. I thought um, it was a solid enough performance, and we'd done enough to get the victory, and the lads worked hard. That's the main thing, and it's a massive three point at this stage of the season. And that victory now secures our spot in this season's playoffs. Great to do that with four games to go. The aim now is to get a semi final place. Yeah, of course. Listen, it's always nice to mathematically uh, secure a playoff, but let's be honest, for, for the last. Well, pretty much since the start of the season, we've been targeting that top three. Um, we tried to go with Chesterfield early on, and we did so for a couple of months. Um, to be fair to them, their firepower took it away from us, so fair play to them. Obviously, we've we've commended them a few times throughout the season of how good they've been. So, But since then, it's always been top three. So, uh, of course, it's a positive to mathematically secure playoffs, but it's, it's always been that top three is a, is, a, is a key thing for us. And we're, we're on track for that. We've just got to keep going. We've got to pick up some more points. We know where we know our target, and we've got to try to get as close to that as we can. And obviously, we should be all right if we can do that. As well on Monday, we had the supporters' awards after the game. Anthony Hartigan coming away with the players' player of the season, managers' player of the season, young player of the season, and goal of the season. What a great addition he's been to the group this season. He's been brilliant. Um, Gaffer said it on the night. Um, he, he, he's a he's brave. He's a brave player, and in terms of and that's in terms of getting on the ball. No matter what the situation of the game is, no matter what the feel of a match is, he'll always want the ball. And he's brilliant. We play through him. He keeps us ticking. He's excellent for us. He's. Um, I believe he's got the most touches. Or some, he's got a brilliant start of most pass and most touches. Some definitely in the top end of that in the whole division. So it shows how much we get him on the ball. And when he's on the ball and playing well, we play well. So he's been unbelievable for us. He's a great lad as well. He loves football. Just he's come in and he's just worked hard and he's been brilliant. He's um, he's brilliant because he he come back and he's enjoying his football again. I think that's key for anyone. Um, when you're enjoying your football, you get the best out. And I think that shows of hearts this year. He's been excellent for us. And Callum Stead was uh, given the most improved player. He's got 13 goals this season since coming from Brackley, got called up to the England C squad. As someone who works with him every day, how have you seen his development from the summer to now? I think it's the perfect award for him to win. He's gone from part time to full time, it's a tough transition. Um, you see it a lot, people that do it, they, they, could, they can take a bit of time to adjust. I think he adjusted brilliantly, um, but in terms of the fitness and the the physical demands put on people when they go from part time to full time it can affect people. So he's done excellent. He's kept growing. Uh, I think to be fair to the gaffer, he's done it brilliantly in terms of introducing them gradually and giving them more and more responsibility as the year's gone on. So that's been brilliant from the gaffer as well. And I think it's worked brilliantly for Steady. He's done excellent. He takes everything on board. He works hard. We say it all the time. He runs the goal and gets chances, and he's infectious. So he's done brilliant. 13 goals and unbelievable return this first season, especially when you consider the the amount of starts and obviously substitution appearances. He's not. It's not like he's played every game. So his numbers are brilliant from him. He's got to keep trying to do the same things. And the, the last sort of player award, Nicky Gabamba getting the supporters player of the season, 30 goals already this season. He's close to getting his 100th appearance for the club and 50th goal for the club. He's making himself into a, a Barnet legend. How have you found him this season? Listen, you're reading out the numbers, it's unbelievable. When you think he only signed he only signed at the start of last season, it's ridiculous numbers, or even just the appearances. So it shows how available he is and that's a key thing for us. And when we're recruiting players, we need players that are going to be available and he's been a stalwart for us. And to obviously put up numbers, as you said, with the goal return has been outstanding. So we're so pleased for him, and he's, he's taken everything on board. That's the key. He's, everything that he's been told by the gaff from myself, all this, the management team that have been here and gone, and all fellow players, he takes everything on board and he tries to learn, he tries to apply it in games. And he can see that with his performances. Another two goals on Monday, and he's been excellent. He scored an absolute brilliant goal. I think if the goal of the season vote might have been a few days later, he might have won it with the goal at Solihull. I think it was that good. So he's been brilliant for us. He's, you know, he's a great lad as well, which is important. He's a brilliant character in a changer and one of the big person but always bubbly, always happy and he's a, he's a driving force in terms of the atmosphere within the group. And now we look ahead to this game against Maidenhead on Saturday, a team that's picked up quite a few good results in the last few weeks. What can we expect from them? Uh, listen, Dave knows the league inside out. I, I think if you look at any team that goes to Maidenhead, you know it's going to be a tough day. They've got the slope on the pitch, obviously it's a hostile place to go and they've got, they're have got they well organised and they're physical and they do what they do brilliantly. They've um, got ball carriers in the wide areas, they pose a lot of threats. I think when we played them here, to be fair, we were very fortunate to win the game in the end. They asked a lot of questions of us and we were thankfully we come out on the right side of the result, but they were brilliant on the day and a few things went for us that day that got us to win, but it was by no means a comfortable game. So we know what's going to be. Um, 
I mean, you look at the last two results, 4-0 against Aldershot, who are obviously playoff chasing, and then you've got a comeback victory against EC away from home, and the 2-0 down at half-time shows the fight they've got in the group. And they're, not, they're a tough side to play against. As I said, physical, they work hard, they're well organised, and we know the challenge at hand, it's a tough place to go, and we'll, we'll be going down there with our guard up, definitely. And then just as finally, is there any update to the team ahead of the weekend? Uh, no, no, no fresh injuries. Um, we've got players a little bit close that we're hoping to involve, um, whether it be on the bench or, or starting. But we've got players coming back again, and we're thankful for that. So as you, you can't give too much weight going into these games, but we'll hopefully have players back and strengthen the squad again. And we'll see that obviously with the team selection Saturday. Connor, thank you for your time. Brilliant, thank you.